Hey everybody, I'm going to work number five and number six for you that I asked you to do the day before. So remember the variable that's in parentheses with the fraction exponent. We got to get that by itself. All right. So I need to get rid of the five and I need to get rid of the minus eight. Typically we get rid of addition subtraction first. So I'm going to get rid of subtraction of eight by adding eight. The five and the x minus seven in parentheses raised to the two thirds comes down. And 37 plus 8 makes 45. Okay, I'm still trying to get the variable that's in the parentheses with the fraction exponent by itself. So how do you think I'll get rid of the 5? I divide. It's smushed, which is multiplication, and to get rid of multiplication, we divide. So the 5s cancel out, leaving x minus 7 raised to the 2 thirds. And then 45 divided by 5 makes 9. Okay, this is when I'm ready for my reciprocal exponent. So if I flip that fraction over, I get 3 over 2. So the 2s and 3s cancel out. Shoop, shoop. You're left with x minus 7. And then this side, I need to go around the world and figure out what it is. So it's telling me to take the square root of 9 and raise it to the third power. Am I taking an even root here? Yep, 2's an even number. And when you take an even root, there's a plus minus. So the square root of 9 is plus minus 3. And then I'm going to raise that to the third. And 3 times 3 times 3 is a positive 27. And negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is a negative 27. So this is a plus minus 27. So if this denominator is ever even, you need to slap down a plus minus the minute you take that even root. Because when you take an even root, there's a plus minus. Alright, to get x by itself, to get rid of subtraction of 7, I add 7 to both sides. Now this is where some of you might be confused. So this is giving you a positive 27 and asking you to add 7 to it. So I have a positive 27 and I'm adding 7 to it. Do you know what that is? 34. I also have a negative 27 and I am asked to add 7 to a negative 27. Well, what's that? A negative 20. And so those are my two answers, 34 and negative 20. Okay, let's look at number six. So the variable that's in the parentheses with the fraction exponent, I need to get it by itself before I can do that reciprocal exponent. So how do you get rid of the two? You divide. Since the two is smushed, it's multiplied, so we need to divide. The twos cancel. I'm left with x plus three raised to the three halves, and then 54 divided by two is 27. Okay, now I'm ready for my reciprocal exponent, which would be 2 over 3. So I'm raising both sides to the 2 over 3. So the 3 and 2's cancel. Shoop, shoop. All I'm left with is x plus 3. Remember, you can lose the parentheses on the left side at, the, at this point. The right side, I need to go around the world. So it's telling me to take the cubed root of 27 and raise it to the second power. Am I taking an even root this time? Nope, that's not an even number, so no plus minus. What's the cubed root of 27? Three, because three times three times three, three times makes 27. And then raise that to the second power. Well, what's three squared? Three times three, that's a nine. So this is a nine right here. And then to get x by itself, how do I get rid of addition of 3? I subtract it. And so 9 minus 3 makes 6. So I only have one answer when I'm done when I take an odd root. I have two answers when I'm done when I take an even root. Because when you take an even root, there's a plus minus. Okay, today I'm just doing more of the same thing. So this is called assignment over 7-5 part 1. So I'm just doing more of what I did yesterday and what I just talked about. 
Okay, so now number one looks different um, because there's no parentheses, which is why I wanted to do this for you. Okay, so this problem, there's no parentheses, so it's the x with the fraction exponent I need to get by itself before I can do the reciprocal. So I need to get rid of the three and I need to get rid of the plus five. What do you think we would do first? Get rid of the addition of five. So to get rid of addition of something, I subtract it. So five minus five is zero. The three x to the four thirds comes down. And then what's 53 minus five? 48. Okay, now I'm still trying to get this x with the fraction exponent by itself. So how will I get rid of the three? I'll divide. Since it's smushed, it's multiplied, so I get rid of multiplication with division. So the threes cancel out, so you're left with x to the four thirds, and then 48 divided by three makes 16. Okay, now that the variable with the fraction exponent is by itself, I'm ready for the reciprocal. And who's the reciprocal? Three-fourths. So I'm raising both sides to the three-fourths power. So the fours and threes cancel, shoop, shoop. All I'm left with is x. And the right-hand side, I need to go around the world. So this is telling me to take the four through to 16. So I'm gonna write it up here the fourth root of 16, and raise it to the third power. Okay, am I taking an even root? Yes, four is an even number. This is an even root. And when you take an even root, there's a plus minus. So fourth root, I taught you a while back that when you take a fourth root, you just do square root twice. So what's the square root of 16? Four, and then what's the square root of four? two. So the fourth root of 16 is two. And that's because two times two times two times two, four times makes 16. Okay. And then I need to raise that to the third. So two times two times two, that's eight. And negative two times negative two times negative two, that's negative eight. So this makes a plus minus eight. So that's going to go right here. Plus minus eight. Now, do you notice how x is by itself? Since x is by itself, I'm done. I don't have to add or subtract anything. So that's it. So my answer is just plus minus eight. Most of the time we have something else over here that we have to get rid of, but this time we don't. So this one's easier. All right, let's look at number two. All right, we're back to parentheses. So the variable that's in parentheses with the fraction exponent, we need to get it by itself. So how do you think I'll get rid of that three? I subtract it. See how this three was smushed? That's multiplication. That's when you divide. But this three is not smushed. So this is just a positive three here that I need to get rid of by subtracting. If it would have been smushed, like over here, see how the four is smushed? I will get rid of this four by dividing. But this 3 is not smushed with the parentheses, so I get rid of that 3 by subtracting because it's a positive 3. So this is 0, so the 4 minus x to the 3 halves comes down. And then what's 11 minus 3? 8. Okay, so I now have my variable in parentheses with the fraction exponent by itself. So now I'm ready for the reciprocal exponent. And that is what? 2 thirds. So I'm going to raise both sides to the 2 thirds power. So the threes and twos cancel out, shoop, shoop. All I'm left with is four minus x. Okay, and then this side, I need to go around the world. So this is telling me to take the cubed root of eight and raise it to the second power. Am I taking an even root this time? Nope, because that is not an even number. So no plus minus, the cubed root of eight is two because two times two times two makes eight. And then I need to raise that to the second power. And what's two squared? Two times two? Four. So this is a four. Okay, so now let's get x by itself. So this is a positive four here, so I'm gonna subtract it. And then the negative x comes down. Four minus four is zero. Remember this is like a negative one in front of the x. 
and to undo multiplication, I divide. So I'm dividing both sides by negative 1, and that just leaves x, and 0 divided by anything is 0. So 0 is my answer. I don't think anybody likes getting an answer of 0, but that's the answer. All right, number 3. So the variable that's in parentheses with the exponent needs to get by itself. So how will I get rid of the 4? I'll divide. Since it's smushed with the parentheses, I have to divide by it. So I'm dividing both sides by 4. And then the x minus 9 raised to the 1 third comes down. And then 8, min or, sorry, 8 divided by 4 makes 2. Okay, so now I'm ready for my reciprocal exponent. Who's my reciprocal exponent? 3 over 1. Well, 3 over 1 is the same thing as just a 3. So I could put 3 over 1, but 3 over 1 is just a 3. So the 1s and 3s cancel. Shoop, shoop. All I'm left with is x minus 9 on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, I don't have to go around the world because this is not a fraction exponent because 3 over 1 is just a 3. So this is just 2 to the third power. And what's 2 to the third? 2 times 2 times 2. 8. So that's just an 8. And then to get x by itself, how do you get rid of subtraction of 9? We add it. So I'm going to add 9 to both sides. And what is 8 plus 9? 17. And that's my answer, and I'm done. Okay, so what I want you to do for me is I want you to try two problems again. I want you to try number 4 and number 5. Remember, if you end up taking an even root, you'll need to slap down a plus minus because when you take an even root, there's a plus minus. So when you get these problems done, take a picture of your work and post it to Canvas. And that's all for today. Smiley face.